Hello, let's get viewers, and today we're doing episode 11 of F1 Fan vs. The World. Today we've got three man room, and we're going to Tokyo R246. I'm in a Toyota FG1 Vision Grand Turismo, I believe it is called. We've got a surfer and some other guy in the room who Sam 2000, Joe 2002. Don't know what that is. And so, we've gone into the first corner, and I'll take the same place as, as Sam in his thing, so now he runs very wide. Um, Surflet's in a Mercedes CLK something or other. And as we fly through the second corner. Coming up towards the third corner now, and Surflet's got the, the edge of me. I, I got the corner in speed, whereas he's got the straight line speed. I made, I made a move up his inside and I've held it back, but, but he's got the inside line for the next corner, so he's taken that position back, run to, run, yeah, run to and rest down into the, through the next corner. Can't hold it off for this corner. Could have probably made that, but I thought best not. We both clatter into the wall on the outside. <coughs> and now he's managed to pull away just ever so slightly. So I, I, I get that corner all wrong. I think I bounced over the curb at the inside, so naturally you run very wide. Try through that corner. Just clip the um, outside wall. The surf lad has got just an advantage. You took that corner very wide. Um, I think that was his rotor line because then he could get a really, really good run onto the straight. Go to the inside line just to keep it nice and smooth. Um, yeah, I messed up those two corners on the straight. If you can class them as corners, but you can't, I don't think really. Um, yeah, yeah. I've got seven races today, by the way. Um, they're all they're all really short ones, so it's fine. Um, so we're heading through turn three now. Um, I'm catching the surf lad. I'm looking to go jump up his inside again down into these few corners, but couldn't quite make the move there. So I'm um, looking down in turn four, still not quite there. Flying around the line of stern. The surf lad's pulling away because he's got the straight line speed. Uh, this was quite a good battle, really. Uh, shame I couldn't like, be alongside a bit more, but hey. Um, as we come through into the final section of Tokyo R246. I managed to keep that off the wall and keep all my speed basically. And done that. This is a very smooth part of the track for me on the second lap. I just nailed the corners. I didn't cut them all. So the surf led well, taking his wide line so I've made a dive up the middle, I've got the I've got the lead. We're side by side as we come down into the final on the final straight and he's pulling away from me. Can I can I get in this slipstream and pull back the deficit? I don't think I can. And across the line. Yeah. I don't know how much it was, it was like three tenths if that. So close. Actually no, I think it was like point one. It was stupidly close, but that's a really good battle, so next race is Silverstone? No, it's not, it's somewhere else, then it's Silverstone. So I'll see you there. We're at the Cape Ring Periphery, and I'm in Nismo, N, uh, Nismo, Nismo GTR 14. Yeah, I got one of these. Quite a nice car, I get, I get a pretty good launch off the line. Let's head down in the first corner, we got an extra player from... Italy, I think, as we go three abreast almost into the first corner. The Clarin F1 forces the Alpha wide, and I just was back through the middle of them. But anyway, we're not going to stick with me this race because I had a really, really bad race. So we're going to stick with the two guys up front um, the Surflet and ex Luca Jr. I think. Luca Jr., I think. I think that's how it's called. So, um, the McLaren F1 dies at the inside of the surf lad through this long, long corner. I was hoping I'd have a bit of an advantage here, but evidently not. As we go over the jump, got a bit sideways through there. Um, I managed to crash in the background, there you can see. And so that wasn't so good for me, that was basically my race over. Um, I was hanging in there just about, but 
by the end of it I wasn't. Whereas the surf head runs very wide. <coughs> I'm trying to gain this slight advantage over uh, X Luca Drew as I've managed to um, actually not lose that much time even after my excursion. Then I went off the track and I was trying to let uh, Sam Sam Joe through, but it all a bit a bit calamitously. So I, I I managed to lose a lot of time, but hey, it meanwhile in the no meanwhile at the back <coughs> at the back um m yeah my my car once again suffered from top end well not having top end but it was good for the corners once again um so I fled. Oh. Sorry, I just <coughs> got a really bad cough this morning. Right, so the surf led and X um X Luca Luca Junior, I think I'm gonna call him that. Um flying through the long um I would say hairpin, but of course it's not a hairpin. Um uh, Luca get it a bit gets it a bit wrong. So if I doesn't he just nails that corner as makes a dive up the inside almost but no um, it all goes a bit scruffy there should make a dive up the inside through this corner but that ain't gonna happen because it's pretty much flat out corner Luca had the line so Surfled has to back out Surfled gets a bit sideways through there I'm just saying the Surfled, the Surfled, the Surfled <laughs> as I'm still looking at what corner and I don't believe that's how it ends. Yeah. So Luca wins the race. So I in second. I'm I'm down in third. My Nismo. And uh, he's in a wall. <laughs> so yeah, um, next race is definitely Silverstone, so that's where we're going to go next. So we're at the Silverstone Stow circuit. It was chosen and it was like an eight man room, eight nine man room I think. And on, on a track that's designed not for real car. I, I, yeah, I don't know how I managed to get off the track at the start line, but I did manage it either way. As we head down into the second, third corner, I think it is, because this should came at the first corner. Um, the Lamborghini Gallardo at the front has seems to have seeped away a bit. Um, a bit closer behind, trying to make up a bit of a gap in the braking which I succeeded in doing actually now I'm right over the back of Le Surfled in his GTR 14 Nismo thing the one that I had basically but better um, it's the same model as as I take third place after the other Tommy Kyra runs a bit sideways and off yeah so um, heading down into Turn three, the the Gallardo gets it very wrong. Gives me a nudge on the way back round. Uh, I think he's trying to cut off that corner a bit. Maybe he was budging the surfer down into uh, the corner at the end of the straight. I don't know what number that is or anything. I think it's number four. As we head round the twisty section of track, the other Tommy Car is trying to make his way through. I, I can't can't quite get there, but. Gonna make a move up the inside there. I run a bit right wide, trying to avoid the surf lad. End up giving him, end up giving the position over to uh, the Tommy Kyra. And towards the hairpin, Tommy Kyra gets a bit wrong, runs up the inside of it. I still carry the momentum through the corner. So can I get past? We're running side by side. No, we're not anymore. He, he's just got. Uh, what's it significant speed I have to avoid the slow moving cars up ahead so I run a bit wide there trying to get a move done in the last few corners it's kind of hard here as 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 I give the surf had a nudge but that was an accident and the Tommy Cairo gets past on the final corner so it's a win for the Tommy Cairo the Lamborghini comes in second and the surf lad in third so yeah, um, Sam 2000, Joe 2002, he really chose the wrong car for this. So 
across the line he goes. So yeah, uh, next race, don't know where the next race is, I uh, guess we'll find out in a minute. So we're at the high speed ring, naturally I choose my fastest car, the Getty Veyron 16.4 litre, um, in bright yellow, naturally. Um, I get I get a fairly good launch, compared to the Nismos, I got a abysmal launch, they just rocketed away off the line. I'm up into second in the first corner, and a bit of sidewaysiness. I, I managed to clip the outside wall there. I, I just clip it, it's only minor. Yeah, that's what I'll say. I'm gonna go run surf lead because my race here was a bit, a bit naff. I, I didn't do very well actually. Had the fastest car around the high speed ring and came in not very good position. Um, meanwhile, up front, the, it looks like Lucas try, got past, in fact, the Red Devil Evil Peach. No, Red Devil Peach, there we go. The surf lad manages to breeze past Sam 2002. 2000, Joe 2002, yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, but then he manages to spin it on the corner and cause a bit of a pile up at the back. Um, I have managed to get past these guys trying to catch the Nismos with my phenomenal top speed. I maxed out at like two, uh, two, three, six. I think I did here because it didn't shoot up too much. Uh, uh, I get up the first corner a bit wrong, and then I get aerial assaulted by the surf lad. So he comes around the final corner and bounces off the wall, lifts in the air, and rams me. Um, up front, um, Luca, Luca is actually in the win, win, he's in the win, yeah, he's in the lead, uh, Red Devil Peach behind him, and Sam 2002, 2000, uh, Sam and Joe are behind him, in the, what's the car called, uh, let's see, Nismo, yeah, everyone was using a Nismo this time, right. Surfad in fourth, in fifth, and I'm in sixth. I was trying to get a better run, so I clipped the wall on the outside, and we come across the line. Um, yeah, so that's how it came. I think Sam actually got the got Red Devil Peach, so well done to him. <laughs> I him last in the fastest car on the grid. Yeah. So next race somewhere else. Um, yeah. So, for this race, we're once again on Tomokara ZZII for Grand Valley West East, one of the two. <laughs> Not quite sure. Uh, she doesn't start for a bit, um, probably a bit of lag induced there. I get a good start off the line. I uh, go up into first place, into the first corner. And keep it there, up at the inside. As come around the first corner, she runs a bit wide, Assassin runs a bit wide, the surf lead. Nails the corner, it seems, with a bit of help from uh, Assassin X. Um, as we come through the fast right handers of the speedway, um, I've been caught, no surprise there. Um, Chino, Chino Peru manages to spin it in his McLaren F1 GTR, I think it is. I'm not entirely sure, I was tempted to use one of those, but I didn't. Um, I, I managed to spin it on the last corner and then I couldn't recover um, very quickly, so yeah, I managed, I managed to mess it up. Um, this X, yeah, Luca had the phenomenally quick car, um, the, the, the Nissan just breezed past the uh, surf's Mercedes, and <laughs> Then probably you go and screw up the corner afterwards. Um, where am I? Where, where am I? <laughs> I know, I'm in fifth. Right, so yeah. I'm in fifth, Assassin XD. No, I'm in fourth. Wow. Assassin XD there. Surf led here. Um, some going first, don't know who it was. I think someone left as well. I'm not sure though. As we come through this corner, I've managed to gain years on them, up ahead. I have got a good run into the final corner. Chino Peru is also there, looking to make a move. 
I managed to bump over the curb, trying to get a really good run. If I had got that run, I reckon I could have got second off these guys. But instead, it was a phenomenally close finish between all four of us as the leader, as Luca wins. Uh, yeah, it was, it was something stupid like we're all in within like half a second or something. If I had got that run at the following corner, I reckon I could have got second because my car, I think my car did have the legs just about. So yeah, uh, next rally, it, next rally, the next race is at Matterhorn, so, yeah. Right, so at Matterhorn short, and yes, you've got a go-kart race, I was planning to do one of these. Someone said, this track's more suited to go-kart track, so I thought, that go for a go-kart track. We're gonna watch it on first person actually because the exterior because the replay cameras on this are rubbish. This track with group becomes a rubbish. As we come into the first corner, there's been a pile up. I've I've not really been involved. I got I hit did hit the surf lad up the side. But no I was on there. Uh, the green one up ahead I didn't catch his name. He was a bit sideways, Liam my boy ahead. I, I run wide overestimating the steering and braking of the go-kart. Actually, <coughs> shoes now up ahead. Daniel Mencaro is behind us with a well, he's Brazilian. He, he, he well, he doesn't make the corner, it's simple as that. This is a very fast paced race. You couldn't clip the curves because if you clip the curves, that would happen. Yeah, people were flying off all around me. I, I did get a bit of oversteer through that last corner. The surf lad. Despite not owning a go-kart in this game, or probably not like, well he didn't like the go-karts as much. This is in fourth, I, I was catching these guys up ahead so I was trying to push and then probably fell off the track. Um, yeah, I kind of balls that up, as did Liam and Boy, if I had balls that up and I got second. So that's always nice to hear. So I come across the line in... Fourth, yeah, I think that's fourth. <coughs> yeah, that was very fast, very short, very good. B bit of lag up ahead. I don't even know what that was. Uh, so yeah, the next race is somewhere else. Uh, the final race should be able to remember this. Uh, can't. So we're going to the Indianapolis Road Course. I'm in my Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, so it was like it started off as an eight-man race, ended as a three. No, it started off as a six-man race, ended as three. I rock it off the line, <laughs> as I always do in my Lamborghini. I got like a hundred meter, hundred yard, whatever you want to call it, hundred. A big head start, basically. As we come through the first corner, I'm in the lead. The surf lad is, well, he's down in second now. <laughs> um, yeah. I was in the lead, I was taking things a bit cautiously, didn't want to overdo it, didn't want to spin. I was taking it nice and cautiously. China, Peru and the surf lad are also in the mix up ahead. They were the they were the other two that did last the race, mainly because they were the two at the front. And it was actually quite a good race. Uh, the surf lad does um well he is in the second. Uh, China Peru is third in a Honda of sorts, I think it is. Surf Lad is in his Mercedes once again. Uh, China Peru gets on the grass a bit. I get it. I can dr I can actually slide this now without spinning out. That's always good. Well, mostly anyway. Um, heading down into the bold section of the track. I would pull an advantage here as I got speed but no I spin it I spin it I spin it and crash into China Peru and a complete accident I did apologize after he said it was okay so <coughs> so no I'm no so the fight is on we got to go back and get first place but can we do it can we even catch second place we've got a faster car by like, 20 miles I think uh, the surf lads up ahead it is Mercedes CLK okay, unaware of the impending doom of um, China, Peru and I who will no doubt catch and look to overtake well, <laughs> you'd think so anyway Surf is a good racer but yeah, it was it, 
it was close, let's just say. Um, China Peru has already caught up, so my prediction is coming true. Actually, I already know what's happening. I'm still quite a bit, quite a long way back. Um, I did make up a bit of time down this straight because I just broke the zone late as well because my brakes on it are phenomenal. I was pretty much right up the rear end of China Peru as he runs very wide. Uh, can't quite see what's happening. Uh, I, I didn't overtake China Peru apparently. Uh, as we head down into the bowl section of the track, we've only got a few corners left for anything to happen. So. I've got in the slip stream of China Peru, I'm, I'm holding back because I know I couldn't get past in that corner. So we make a dive up here, up into the inside, I take second place, but now I see the surf in my sights. Can I get him? Can I get him? I've got the straight line speed and the cross the line. Right. I think that calls. Or... Uh... No, 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 no. Exterior view. There we go. Right, so, coming into the final corner as the surf there, it's going to be a photo finish, as we all know. I'm right behind him, I'm right behind him, I've got the phenomenal speed, and I take the win. Yeah, it was by point naught nine seven of a second. It was very close, I was very lucky. It was only because I had the straight line speed that I could win. Without that, wouldn't go anywhere. So, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video uh, that was a very very it was kind of a long video with seven races in if you normally uh, like quite long and about this long with only three races in so yeah I like these short races because they're shorter and quicker seems legit and yeah that's pretty much gonna be it so yeah um, that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching and I hope to see you at next one too, because I don't know when I'm going to do that. Do it whenever I feel like it, or someone requests it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.